Has it ever crossed your mind why certain stereotypes persist even in the face of overwhelming evidence to the contrary? Today, we're unpacking the stereotypes surrounding the furry fandom, a community often misunderstood and misrepresented. Firstly, the furry fandom, a subculture interested in anthropomorphic animal characters with human personalities and characteristics, has been subjected to many stereotypes. One of the most damaging and inaccurate is the assumption that all furries are zoophiles or pedophiles. This stereotype has its roots in early internet culture, where a few isolated incidents involving individuals who identified as furries were blown out of proportion, painting the entire fandom with the same brush. These incidents, while deplorable, represent a tiny fraction of the furry fandom and are not indicative of the community as a whole. Take this case study. The infamous incident involving an individual known online as Evil Saib. This person was involved in illegal activities related to animal abuse and was widely condemned by the furry community. However, the mainstream media and internet culture latched onto this incident, perpetuating the stereotype that all furries engage in similar activities. In stark contrast, the furry fandom as a whole has repeatedly voiced its disdain for such behavior. Multiple polls conducted within the community show a near-universal condemnation of zoophilia and pedophilia. Many furry conventions also have strict rules against illegal activities and explicit content, further demonstrating the community's commitment to maintaining a safe and inclusive environment. Another stereotype that furries often encounter is the idea that they are socially inept or immature. This stereotype stems from a misunderstanding of the fandom's love for creative expression and roleplay. To put this into perspective, consider the case of Furry Fiesta, an annual convention that attracts thousands of attendees. Here, furries engage in a variety of activities, including art workshops, costume contests, and charity auctions. Far from being socially inept, these individuals demonstrate creativity, community spirit, and a willingness to engage with others. In conclusion, stereotypes about furries, like all stereotypes, are often based on inaccurate information and a lack of understanding. The furry fandom, far from being a haven for illegal activities or social ineptitude, is a vibrant community of individuals who share a love for anthropomorphic art and creativity. The case of Evil Saib and the Furry Fiesta Convention highlight the stark contrast between the stereotypes and the reality of the furry fandom. While there will always be outliers in any community, it is crucial to remember that these individuals do not represent the whole. So the next time you encounter a stereotype about furries, remember these case studies and consider the larger context. Stereotypes not only constrict our understanding of communities like the furry fandom, but they also prevent us from appreciating the rich diversity and creativity that such communities offer. As the voice behind this video, I feel it's important to share my personal experience. I was once a part of the furry community and can attest to the rich diversity and creativity it offers. I love being a part of a supportive community that celebrated individuality and encouraged creative expression. I was proud to identify as a furry and enjoyed the camaraderie that came with it. However, my experience was not without its challenges. I faced bullying and ridicule from anti-furries, individuals who held misconceptions and stereotypes about the fandom. They made assumptions about me based on my identification as a furry without knowing anything else about me. This bullying had a profound impact on my life, leading to feelings of isolation and shame. The harsh judgment and ridicule I faced eventually led me to leave the community. It was a painful decision but one I felt was necessary for my personal well-being. Despite leaving, I still hold immense respect for the creativity and spirit of the furry fandom. My experience, both positive and negative, has shaped me, and I hope that by sharing my story it will inspire others to challenge stereotypes and seek understanding. 